Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I feel a little bit bad, kind of, I don't know, um, because I have been on back shift this week and usually I'll put out maybe two or three of these videos, but I've only done one. And I thought like, oh, damn it, I should have let the people down. That's kind of how I felt, but I haven't really let anyone down. My channel is actually still growing, which is nice. I know I mention that like nearly every time, but I'm nearly at a thousand subs. I think I'm about four or five away, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you everybody who subscribed and stuff. Um, I've made a few little notes of things to talk about and I've just got to wing it as always. This is off the cuff. First note, um, so because I ordered my new PC and it's going to come like, I don't know, early March. I think it's maybe like the 5th or the 6th, something like that. I was looking at games and I thought, you know what, I'm going to play some of the games that I've always wanted to, but I just couldn't because of my computer, laptop, blah, blah, wasn't good enough, so I decided to get a few of them, and some of them have been on CD keys, which I recommend checking out, I'm not sponsored or anything, but I wish I was, um, <coughs> but I have got, well, yesterday I bought Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which I have for Xbox, but I thought, you know what, it's cheap, It was uh, there's actually been a uh, sale on Steam anyway, so that was about 9 99 which is well worth it. If you've never played Ghost Recon Breakpoint and you like a tactical shooter, I'd recommend getting that. All right, I've got The Ascent, which is just like a twin stick shooter kind of game. It's, it's pretty crazy though, it gets a bit mad. And then I've got XCOM 2, which again, I've played on Xbox before, but I didn't play a lot of it, but of what I did play, it was really, really good. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna bash out a bit of that. And then I, on my st uh, Steam like favorites, I put Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, because I, I always really loved Digimon when I was younger, but I haven't actually played that. I bought it ages and ages ago, but I haven't actually played it at all. Also, The Sims. I want to get back into playing The Sims. You know what? I'm definitely going to be streaming again. And last time, I think on my last video, maybe two ago or something, I mentioned that I wanted to change my uh, Twitch name to B -B -B Bunko as well. But I had a look, and I can't, because if a name was used in the past six months, which it probably was by me i can't change back to it so i just have to wait a little while so at the minute my twitch is bubba breakfast i don't stream at the minute but when my new pc comes i will be so if anyone wants to follow me on there and interact with me live when i do that stuff then cool uh how have you guys been um i've had a few nice comments you know what? i'm gonna get the comments up talk about some of them um yeah a few nice comments and new people and stuff checking out my videos which is awesome someone from mexico slash korea i don't really know how they're in two places at once but they are um unless they've got like two people comment on commenting on one comment kind of thing i don't really know whatever um but yeah i've been pretty consistent with um replying to like every single comment Someone said, I don't like Instagram for my artwork either, which I, I've been thinking about that a little bit. Every time I go on Instagram, I just think like, this is not good. It's not good for me. It's not good for anyone, I don't think. Unless you already have like a massive fan base and you're just giving them a little something to go off now and then. So just like whether it's art or gaming or just your family because you do vlogs or whatever. I think Instagram should be more like supplementary to your other content that you put out there but yeah instagram i think f maybe once upon a time for artists it was probably good but now i've just i don't think it's good for artists is it it's good for reference and kind of keeping up with other artists to come if you've got artists that you like on my phone i allow myself five minutes it was 10 minutes but i just put it down today five minutes of instagram per day and sometimes i use it sometimes i don't because i just I, I go on there check out a few little things and then just I'm getting off of this, it's, it's not good. It's not like toxic or anything, I suppose some of it is, but it's just not for me. Um, what else have you got? Someone said about the keyboard. I mentioned that I've got a new sexy keyboard, if anyone wants to know. It's for my new PC, by the way, when that comes. I've got the Gamma K TK75, and I've tried it out and it's sexy. It's, it's not too clicky, I'm not a fan of the mega clickiness. Like some people, really really love all that it's like asmr to them but whatever all right let's look at my little notes because I've, I've went off track um this video is like just over 20 minutes which is slightly longer than what i usually do so we'll see if i have enough brain capacity to talk for that long i'm sure i will um yeah new old games i want to just play like not every single game that i've ever wanted to but 
I definitely want to like sink a little bit of time. I don't want to go crazy, but I want to put a bit of effort and time into some of the games that I used to really, really want to play. Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I want to smash that. I got quite far with the Xbox, but I just kind of like put it down and then never pick it back up. Stardew Valley, love it. You don't need a big mega machine for that. What games, not new games, but maybe older games, not mega, mega old like retro, but I don't know, maybe in the past five years, would you guys recommend? What's your some of your favorites? Um, I, I like a game called Parkitect, where you just create like theme parks. There are like missions on it and stuff, but I really, really like them. I really, really like that game. Okay, next, I wrote down, uh, on this video later, you'll see a smaller hand comes into frame. Because <clears throat> my son was around and he knocked the table a couple of times, so if you notice a couple of little shakes, that's why. I'm not sure if it picked it up or not, but he was around and uh, <clears throat> he was climbing up next to me. And I can't just like shoo him off, so I thought, you know what, come and get involved. So you'll see his hand and then I, I give him the pen and then I hold his hand kind of like over the pen, you know what I mean. And... Uh, and just get him involved you'll see it and it's kind of cute i think it's good a good idea to get your kids or your wife or your auntie your uncle whoever get them involved in what you like to do if they're up for it because they would just make it more enjoyable and that's the thing you can do together like i think eleanor my girlfriend she i think she likes art but she's just not interested in doing it but maybe one day she'll uh pick up a pen I think she would rather draw like realistic things whereas I'm all about like cartoons and stuff like that um also for your pen nerds um I'm using a Pentel Energel here and then for the black pen it's the Paper Mate Flare I just need to get a drink I have wet my mouth um yeah I had some salt and vinegar crisps before this so I'm a little bit dried up anyway what was I saying? I forgot now. Oh yeah, get your kids involved, your family, whatever. Dog, if they can grow a firm and hold a pen. Anyway, yeah. I also wrote pets because, um, I don't know, you, we walked through the park earlier. You know, I took Ellis for a little walk earlier this morning because he got up nice and early. I just thought, you know what? It's a nice kind of chill day. Like, not not warm, but just like a nice morning chill. So I thought, let's just go for a walk through the park. Louis didn't want to come. He was just watching some TV, chilling out in his bedroom. So I thought, I'll just leave him to it. If you have kids... You'll know what it, how it is if they're chilling. Let them chill most of the time. Um, so yeah, we went for a little walk through, and I thought I'll, I'll get him out of the push chair, let him walk. But he was not interested in walking, so I just put him back in there. He was just kind of chilled out. But then I, later on, Eleanor wanted to go out for a walk, so we pretty much just just did the same walk again. And uh, Ellis fell asleep that time. I can't remember. Oh yeah, the pets. Um, yeah, you see a lot of dog walkers through there, and some of these dogs are they're super cute and or just nice. They're cool, they're active, they're friendly. Some of them are the opposite, they're not so friendly, whatever. But a little tiny, tiny smidge of me thinks, oh, dogs are nice, I'd like a dog. But then I just think, like, I don't want... I like dogs, and I like cats, and I like fish, and I like other things, but I just don't want one. I don't want to do the work, the work and I don't want it to, like, make my life busier. Because sometimes dogs are chill and they just sit around and do whatever, but it is extra work that I probably don't need. El Eleanor, Eleanor definitely doesn't need it. I think she, the cuteness of an animal will kind of get the better of her. Because we did have a, a dog for a little while. It was her mum's dog and then we got it. And then I just said, like, Eleanor, it's too much work. You just get more and more tired. So we gave it to Eleanor's sister. And now he's there. And he's, he's all good, but yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, I just don't want, I don't want a pet. Do you guys have pets? Anyway, next point, exercise. Um, because we booked a holiday, I feel a little bit inclined to shed a few pounds um, and then maybe just like start banging out some press-ups or doing some weights or whatever, something like that. But then I just kind of thought to myself, and I said this to Eleanor, Eleanor earlier, sorry, I mutter a little bit. Um, I said to her, who am I trying to impress? Because I already have a girlfriend and kids like why do I need to be in shape I'm, I'm probably just doing it for my own insecurity but I don't know I would like to get on my bike and the, the weather's getting a tiny bit nicer now so get an hour on my bike just for like half an hour or something each day it's just nice it's good for your soul good for your mind and shed a couple of calories you know anyway next point um Cartoon Network slash Steven Universe. That's what I've wrote. I decided that I would like to, if possible, I don't have a clue how to go about it. So if anyone 
has any sort of suggestion or anything, I would like to get into the world of doing just like some sort of work for Cartoon Network or other kind of cartoon, I don't know, stations or whatever you call them, um, and maybe just like drawing items for them, maybe some background, but I'm, I haven't really done a lot of backgrounds, but or I just need to do it to get good. Um, characters, objects, props, whatever. Um, just do some sort of work for them just break the ice and creep into that little area a tiny bit in some way I don't really know it's just an idea um but I think I'm kind of biased in my own mind a little bit because an artist that I really like called Sam Bosma 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 I never know how to say that now I'm gonna say Bosma um he does I'm not sure if he still does it but he was doing background design for Steven Universe and I've only I've only watched a tiny bit of Steven Universe before so I don't really 100% know what it's about but just an idea it's a or I don't know a lot of people have said my art reminds them of oh, what's that thing with Finn and Jake the dog uh, oh, I've gone blank now um, Adventure Time yeah it reminds them of Adventure Time the thing that I'm drawing now reminds me of Adventure Time but again I've only watched a tiny tiny bit of that like a few clips on YouTube and stuff and I don't think I've ever watched like a whole episode Maybe I should watch a little bit, get some inspiration. I, there was like a Adventure Time art book, but for some reason on online it goes for like insane money. You know, what? I'm going to look it up right now. Adventure Time art book. I think it's called like something of ooze. Uh, complete series. A to no. The art of ooze. Two hundred and four ninety nine on eBay. That's crazy. Let's buy it. Nah, I'm not going to buy it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like looking at art books, but I decided I'm not buying any more because you can pretty much find every single f piece of art or art of something on Pinterest or Google or YouTube. So, like, I don't really agree with it, but there's YouTube channels that buy these books and then they just do a video of them kind of going through the whole book. And I don't agree with that because it takes away the potential from the artists and stuff, like the, the potential income. But it's nice to look at, so kind of in two minds about that anyway um also i've wrote down message big artists i might just give sam bosma a, a message myself just to say hey man like your stuff uh i think our art styles are similar can is there any work or anything at all that i can do for you for free and there's that little hand look at him he's so cute that's my son ellis he's uh he'll be free in july that's kind of question mark. Dad of the year, 21, 7, 20... No, sorry, 8, 7, 21. That's his day of birth, yeah. Um, yeah, I just... You know what? Him grabbing the pen and doing this, it kind of looks like a, I'm holding his hand kind of tight, but he's so fascinated when I'm just drawing these lines and stuff. But him doing this, maybe do this with your little kid if you have one, or a little niece, nephew, whatever. Um... It makes me just bang out drawings for his entertainment. Also, his fuzzy little hair was getting in the frame, so I had to like push him back a little bit. Um, I was just drawing quickly and loosely just to keep him entertained. And I think I only do maybe like three or four little drawings because he, he kind of lost interest. But I think this is a, a beneficial way of drawing yourself, being super loose. Because some of my pieces of art that I did before, they look quite precise, quite like I'm in every single line is intentional, but now it's just like a super loose version of things that I'd normally draw. So uh, yeah, I think he kind of let go of that pen. So I was just like, oh, what about this one? And I don't think he really wanted to do it anymore, but I just thought let's try. And then I think I just drew one or two more little things. Super cute there. I was trying to do like, like quite continuous solid lines. So I think I just drew like a big circle. Then I'd done the jaggedy line and turned it into something. I don't think he really likes me doing the tiny little details. I think that makes him lose interest. But yeah, if you can draw like you've got a, you're trying to entertain a child by drawing fast and continuous, I think that's pretty beneficial to how you should sketch, whether it's with pen, pencil, probably not pen. Um, yeah, and I think he lost interest. Yeah, so I popped him away and said, go to mummy. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of a cold, so I'm sorry about the sniffing and stuff. It's just cold. And if you have children, I'm sure you understand that 
they're like little sewer rats. They've always got coughs and colds and stuff. Ella keeps coughing in my face every time I pick him up. But anyway, next point. Um, I wrote iPad drawing preference. I don't know why I wrote preference, but iPad drawing. I really have enjoyed drawing on the iPad recently. And I did put up a little video that was, it was just like a, I think it was like 48 seconds long. I'm on my, my laptop right now. I just called it Procreate Time Lapse, The King's Arm, No Commentary. And it didn't get that many views, but um, it's probably because I, it's so short. I don't really know, whatever. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd um, just share that process because I actually really like that drawing. And I wish that I did it as like a longer format. I wish Procreate had, because they do like the, the time lapse thing of your whole drawing, but I wish they did like a real time thing. And I know I can just re screen record for the whole thing, which is what I plan on doing. But I don't know. Also the resolution on iPad is a little bit annoying because it's bigger than a nine, well, how big is it? 19, 25, 1080, I think that's right. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than that. But never mind. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I quite like the iPad drawing, so if anyone wants to check that out, it's the King's Arm one. Whatever. Um, I do enjoy doing them. I like turning these drawings that I do into digital pieces. So if you watch that, you'll see. Oh no, it's not that one actually. That one was kind of just like off the cuff. But other ones, I'll take a picture of my artwork and then put it onto my iPad turn the opacity down and draw over it, change a few little things, colour it, maybe sometimes. I might do a little bit of iPad drawing after this. I do need to get Louis to tidy his room though, because he's a messy boy. Anyway, next point. Um, Louis art class on Saturday, where we live, there's like a little art class, which was kind of cool, so Louis went to that. I think me and Alan were talking the other day, but I think Louis is a bit more of like a sensitive, creative kid. We because some kids they're mad and they love football and they want to just like fight and da 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 Louis is not like that at all he's more like he would sit there drawing with his friends or he does like being crazy and imaginative but I think he would rather pretend that they're like warriors storming a castle or something crazy like lasers Star Wars blah blah all that sort of stuff rather than play football <laughs> he, he would rather pretend and that's kind of what I was like when I was younger in the playground I was not interested one single little bit in playing football with all the guys. I mean, I, I did it a little bit, but I didn't want to, or I didn't for long. I'd, I'd try and then be like, nah, it's not for me. And I'd just go play with like the quote unquote nerdy kids. Uh, because back then it was the nerdy kids. Now it's just like, if you whatever you like, you like. It doesn't mean you're a nerd, but whatever. Um, yeah, so Louis went to an art class on Saturday. It was kind of cool. He'd done some collages. He, he drew like a, He's been watching Avatar The Last Airbender, which again, I've never watched. One of my old friend Corey was into it. Corey, if you watch these videos, hi. Um, but yeah, he drew a little Avatar character and then just cut out some bits from magazines to make it look like he was there was a sky and the land and some water and everything. It was kind of cool. And Louis said he really enjoyed it. So I think we're going to make that kind of regular thing. Also, probably going to try and get him back into some swimming just for his own safety, plus burn a bit, bit of energy because kids are crazy. Uh, what's my next point? They're also, they do adult, this is my next point, adult art classes. They do adult art classes there. Um, but I don't know. I, think, I feel kind of intimidated to try something like that because, I don't know, I've just never been... I'm, you know what? It looks like I'm confident with these drawings, but all my art is very similar, so I'm confident in what I'm drawing, but if they said, like, okay... Everybody, we're gonna draw like I don't know this bowl of fruit in front of you, or these these items. It's like a uh, drawing from life. That's just not me. I'm not into that. I'd, I'd just be like, you know what? I don't like drawing like that. I'm gonna do, draw. I'll draw these things, but as a cartoon version. So drawing an apple as a cartoon, it's almost like just drawing a circle with a stick on top. But anyway, yeah, it's just an idea. I might check out these adult art classes. What do you think? Have you guys ever been to any adult art classes? Or I don't know. I'm never going to like college or university or anything like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm not like an academic. It's not for me. I like just drawing what I like to draw and develop in my own way. I'm happy developing slowly. I'm happy we share my journey with you guys. And that's it. My last point is I'll just wrote Ellis and the box. So Ellis has been grabbing this little box. It's just like a little storage container thing. Um, there's no lid. It's just like we put it in his toy box so we could kind of like get a box out of the toy box, play with those toys and hopefully put it away. But he just gets it out, empties it all over his bedroom and then he gets in it 
he come well he comes over to you and he gets in it he wants me to like lift him up swing him around and be all crazy like that and i don't mind but my, yesterday i did a lot my shoulders and my back were absolutely killing my shoulders still feels a little bit tender now but yeah that's pretty much what i've been up to let me know what you guys have been up to how are you thanks for all the subs and the follows and blah blah all that sort of stuff and keep them coming i super appreciate it so like subscribe and that's pretty much it last little doodle right here and then i'll catch you on the next one love you people Bye-bye.